Karen Bryan for M. Mahid. I'm here with the victorious Kyle Kingsbury. That was a that was a fast fight tonight. <laughs> How you feeling about that one? I feel great. You know, anytime you can get in there and get out quick, it's a good thing. So very happy with it. I know people always plan and hope for a big KO and that kind of thing, but it, uh, what was your game plan going in and, and were you able to execute it the way you wanted to? Well, the game plan was to keep him at a distance, use my reach. If he gets inside, throw the knees. So game plan went exactly according to plan. Uh, he's a terrific wrestler, great grappler, and he's also heavy-handed. So the idea of keeping him out, using my jab, and uh, throwing the knees if he gets inside, that just worked to a T. So a lot better than I expected it to, do, to go. You know, I thought um, it'd go three fives. He's a very talented guy. He's tough as nails when he fought us. Seth Petrozelli, he fought through a broken jaw, torn pec, and a hurt knee. So, you know, he's an incredible opponent and happy the way it went, to, the way that it did. The last guy you fought, Jared Hammond, also a tough guy. You're taking on some guys that, 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 that come ready to fight you. So, who do you want next now? Because it looks like, you know, you're ready for all talent. Well, I, I'm just happy to be here. You know, if, uh, whoever they throw at me, obviously, I'll be happy to accept that opponent and I'm ready to go. So, when they got something for me next, I'll take it. I have to say, when you're on the scales, you definitely look lean. Is this a, is this a tricky weight for you to make? Is it easy? How hard is it? It's pretty easy, actually. I came in at 224 and a half early in the week and uh, a little bit heavier than I like to be, but, you know, I was okay with it. The water comes off easy for me, so got the technique down on that. <laughs> nice. And so on fight night tonight, how much did you win? Uh, about 220. Where'd you go to school? Uh, Arizona State, as you can see. <laughs> Just kidding. As you can see. <laughs> so what do you do to celebrate now? Well, uh, I'm waiting on fellow Sun Devil Ryan Bader to get his big victory tonight, and then we're going to do a little joint party at Revolution at the Mirage. So it's going to be spectacular. I have to say, at the workouts, I thought Ryan looked very, very fast, and he was telling us that precision is going to be important against somebody like Jones. Is that, you know, obviously leaning into this and training for that, that his game plan to just be in there fast and precise? Yes, timing's everything for him. Obviously, Jones has a, a clear reach on anybody he goes against, uh, and he's so quick, too. And a lot of guys that are that long usually don't have that speed to go with it. So that's something that makes Jones as incredible as he is. But Ryan's worked a ton on his timing, being able to get inside, and, you know, his, his credentials speak for themselves. So I can't wait to see him go in there and do some work. This is a pretty great night for light heavyweights. Great night, yeah. And then we got Forrest versus Franklin. It's going to be big time. So very, very excited about this card. Nice. Well, congratulations to you. Thanks for joining us. Thank you very much. I appreciate it. This is Kyle Kingsbury, and you're watching MMA Heat.